now been 65 years since an atomic bomb was lost off the coast of Tybee Island. There are many rumors about where it might be now, some even speculating that other countries may have recovered it. But we spoke to one Air Force veteran who believes it's still out there in the waters off Tybee Island. I was 12 years old in Hinesville. It happened. Since he was a child, Derek Duke of Statesboro has been fascinated by the disappearance of an atomic bomb off the coast of Tybee Island. Everybody knew about it. It was in all the papers. The bomb has been missing since 1958 when a B-47 bomber collided with another plane. That B-47 dropped the bomb into the water near Tybee Island before landing at Hunter Army Airfield. This was to avoid the possibility of it detonating upon the aircraft reaching land. Duke says the government only spent a couple of months looking for it. So they declared they couldn't find it, particularly with the technology they had then. And they ended the search in April of 16th of 1958. Duke says he had largely forgotten about the lost atomic bomb until he served in the U.S. Air Force. He says he met someone during his service who actually flew nuclear weapons out of Hunter Army Airfield. His interest in finding the bomb only grew from there. And I told him right up front, if this were Washington, D.C. and Chesapeake Bay, they would have found it yesterday, yeah. last week, last month in 1958. In the early 2000s, Duke detected radiation in the ocean where someone tipped him off the bomb might be. The federal government ended up coming out in 2004 to search for it, but didn't find anything. We ended the search with the official government search in 2004. Yeah. We had a meeting with the press in June of 2005 where it was announced that we could not find it. Duke says while there are plenty of rumors that other countries found and recovered the bomb, he's convinced it's still in these waters and may even turn up one day. If it's still there, do you think a hurricane might unveil it one day? Oh, absolutely. The good news is Duke is convinced at this point the bomb is in a safe place, possibly buried deep in the silt. This belief is what has allowed him to finally stop his search and let the bomb be. I would not have stopped at this point if I did not think it was safe like it is. On Tybee Island, Brooke Butler, WJCL 22 News.